Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. We're looking at the Samaritan woman. And the first thing I want to say, the main point, is that the Samaritan woman was loved. If you turn to John chapter 4, verse 4 and 8. John chapter 4, verse 4 to 8. And he must need to go through Samaria. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Samaria, near the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Joseph's well was there, and Jesus therefore being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well, and it was about the sixth hour. There cometh the woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou being a Jew askest a drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with uh, Samaritans and yet our Lord went to a woman who from a Jewish perspective they didn't like the Samaritans and yet Jesus being a Jew still went to the woman a Samaritan woman that's a picture of the love of God you know it says in John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish but have eternal life. God invites you to come to know him through Jesus Christ. If you turn to 1 John chapter 4. one John chapter 4 verse 9 and 11. In this was manifest the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him here in his love not that we love God but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins Christ was the propitiation he appears the wrath of God why because he loved you Ephesians 1 7 in whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace God is rich towards you in his grace he wants you to know his love today he wants you to know that he died for you that he loved you on that cross as he died on that cross he was dying for your sin my friend 